Okay, so good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody, from wherever you're tuning into. So you're welcome to this week's FX review with Great White FX for the 4th to 8th of September 2023. So we're going to start off with the economic calendar. Looking at the economic calendar, uh, there's going to be bank holiday in Canada and US. So that means that tomorrow being Monday, the New York session might be a bit slow. So we just need to take care of that. The Aussie has cash rate and rate statement on Tuesday for those who trade that and GDP on Wednesday. Then Bank of Canada's rate statement for card on Wednesday. Um, basically, unemployment claims US on Thursday and card. It seems that card and Aussie might have an interesting week this week. So that's out of the way. Hello, can you hear me now? Oh, check your audio. Check your audio. Maybe your audio is not tuned on or something. Check it. So as always, we're going to start with um, the US 100. Um, looking at the US 100 from the weekly, this has kind of like a bullish order flow, long term to medium term. The other flow is still bullish. If we drop down to the daily, we can see that price rallied up into this bearish order block on the daily. And this volume imbalance here, there's a volume imbalance here. Price rejected from it. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, what are we looking this week? We already have a swing here on the four hour. Let's go down to the one hour. So looking at the one hour, we already have what looks like um, a breaker. So a retracement may be seen because we already have a swing here on the one hour. We already have a swing. So a retracement may be seen. If you go to your lower time frame, say your 15 minute time frame, you're going to see the imbalances here that price may retrace up into. Then if price is to continue lower, we'll be watching this fair value gap on the daily here. Let's go back to daily so that we can see this fair value gap here. And there's an imbalance here. So this might be a retracement to the upside and then a move down to feel this imbalance on the daily, on the US 100. So the next we're going to be looking at is the dollar index. The dollar index for now still has a bullish bias, but it's at a critical level, this area here. The last time price came there, price dropped. So price is at that area now. So going into the new week, the possibility that a retracement may be seen into this fair value gap. There's a possibility that we may see a retracement into this fair value gap. As you can see, it has acted as a kind of resistance before. So if price comes in here, finds support, then we might see a continuation to the upside on the dollar index. So the next where we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. Looking at the Euro USD from the weekly perspective, and see that we have what looks like medium to short term uh, downside order flow. Uh, if we we'll go down to the daily, the daily is very, very close to this weekly high here. But note this bullish other block here. Price dipped into it the first time and rallied away. It's now back into there. It may cause a bounce. The possibility is this, that it may cause a bounce. But what we we'll prefer is that since dollar index is at a kind of a resistance, this should not spike this low before rallying, before retracing into this, maybe this bearish other block or slightly above these highs into this fair value gap, then a move down first to 0 0.772, then 0 0.766. That's going into the new week. So the next one we're going to be looking at is the GBP USD. Looking at the GBP USD, 
Other flow, let's go to the weekly. Let's start from the weekly. Other flow on this pair is tilted to the downside. We have a break of this swing here. If we go into the daily time frame, we can see that price has retreated from this break and it's now looking down. So the possibility that this may still continue lower, it's there. But it's sitting within this daily bullish order block. You see the first time it came in. So there's a possibility this may rally. If we go into the four hour time frame, you can see that price is making new lower highs. But this low is still holding. So the possibility is this, that we may see a kind of a retracement into this structure going into the new week. And then if price is to drop, continue lower, we'll be watching 25.48 as the first target, first draw on liquidity going into the new week. But a retracement to the upside to feel this drop and then a move back down. And if you look at it on the four hour prices within this, bullish um other block here so price if price does not break it there's a possibility we might see a bullish move into this structure before a continuation back to the downside so the next way we're going to be looking at is gold looking at gold gold let's go into the gold if we look at it long term it seems to be slightly moving on the downside if we go to the daily time frame and see that short term, we have a correction of this move down. And if you place your feed from this high to this low, price is at the 61.8, which also has this daily um, <clears throat> bearish order block here. And see, can price has rejected there. We don't have a swing yet on the daily, but on the four hour, we already have a swing and what looks like a kind of a breaker. So going into the new week, the possibility is this, that this may retrace. If it does not go above 1953, then we'll be seeing price come into this area first. If this other block fails, then we might see price come down there. But preferably a retracement up, then a continuation back to the downside on gold. So going into the new week, we might see a bearish move down on gold going into the new week. So the next one we're going to be looking at is the Euro GBP. Looking at the Euro GBP from the weekly, it's more like being in a range. It's more like being in a range. If we go into the daily, we can see that price is coming down into this breaker on the daily. This last up candle before this down move and price broke it. So we'll be watching this on the four hour time frame. The breaker is clear on the four hour time frame. Let me pull back my indicators. You can see it's a low, a high, this and this. So price is now sitting within it. So the possibility exists that this pair may sweep this low, create a swing here, and then continue to the upside. So for Euro GBP, I'm expecting a slight bullish move going into the new week, given where price is on the four hour time frame. We have prices back inside this breaker here. So the next we're going to be looking at is GBP CHF. This pair basically has been in a range, basically has been in a range between this high to this loop as a price has been ranging for one, two, three, four, five, six, or close to six weeks. If we move into the daily time frame and see, we have what looks like another block here. Let's go down to the far time frame. So going into the far time frame, the possibility exists that this may still move back down a bit. We have a market structure shift here. So this might just be a retracement. We'll be watching this for our fair value gap here. That's between this point to this point. Sorry. If price comes in here, fight support, then we might see price come back to test this high. Because we have what looks like a bullish breaker here. So we have this low, we have this high, we have this. 
taking out this, this, then this high was broken. So this might just be a retracement down to continue back to the upside on the GBP CHM. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the pound yen. Other flow on this pair is still to the upside. But we kind of like has gone gone into kind of like a range. We have you see this three rejection, which points to possible swing high on the weekly. If we look at it on the daily, it's more like in a range. If we go down to the four hour time frame, you see where price is sitting. The possibility is that this might retrace. This might just move back into this range. For now, this is a range. So you have two options here. You can wait to see if price will sweep this low, come back into the range, and continue back to the upside. But for this pair, this pair is still slightly tilted to the upside for now. We have a range structure on the four hour. And last but not the least, Euro Yen. The same thing with the pound yen. This other flow on this pair is still bullish. Other flow on this pair is still bullish, but we've come into a range. So you wait to see, and we have this here. Let's look at this on the daily. Okay. We have this other block here. I see the first time price came into a price bounced and price is back into it. So if we go into the far time frame, wait to see if price will sweep this loop or it will rally first. If it rallies first and doesn't take out this high, then we might see it drop back down here. But this pair for now is still tilted to the upside. Any question? Do I have any question? Or is there any pair you want me to look at before we call it? Before we end the review. Okay, in the absence of any questions, I wish everybody a blessed weekend and a wonderful and beautiful trading week ahead. Goodbye, everybody.